All right, guys, this is Island Hopper TV Beaches, and we've got a blue sky day here in Patong Beach. Here in rainy season in June. It says no swimming, but people are swimming. Beautiful day today. We've had overcast, 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 and finally we got some sunshine, blue skies. The ocean's a bit loud today. Apparel sailing going on. Morning. I'm good. So what I'm going to do is uh, keep cruising here. Test out the water real quick. Nice and warm water. So I'll pick up here, uh, show you around a little bit more of the beach, uh, pick up a little bit later. Sir, sir. <laughs> I'm just watching. Oh, my friend. Yeah. Wow. This guy here was standing right in front of the parachute. <laughs> he didn't even didn't even register with him that he could be in the danger zone. Because once that thing gets lift, you know, you don't want to be in front of it. And it's also not safe for the uh, people, the passengers of that. If that thing tears and that boat doesn't know that there, there's an issue. But, you know, tourists will do tourist things. It's just how they roll. Sometimes I see tourists do some of the darndest things, and I'm just like, really? Did that just happen? It's like, do they ever get outside much, you know? <laughs> well, one, one of the crazy things that people do here is uh, they bring four-year-olds to Bangla Road at 9, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. It's like, you got to be kidding me. Oh, Jesus. I would say, if you're going to bring kids to Phuket, don't come to Patong Beach. Everywhere else is fine. I mean, if you're going to come to Patong Beach, that's fine, but... but Bangla Road. I mean, there's so many better places. Like, why do you need to go to Patong? 
there's so many better places on Phuket. People come to Patong because this is where the party's at. This is where the nightlife is. Everyone who lives on the island will tell you that. Yes, they also have this entertainment with the uh, parasailing and stuff. But, uh, I mean, they also have that on Karan Beach. They have jet skis here. I guess that's another reason people come here. But... Aside from being the party place and having a couple malls, I would say if you're coming with a family, why are you coming to Patong? Like, this is a place where backpackers and party people go. I mean, even if you ask the locals on the island, you tell them you're staying at Patong, they'd be like, oh, you must like to party. Unless, of course, the parents love to party and Get a babysitter for the kids, I guess maybe that would be a reason to come here. Plus, some of the best resorts are outside of here. I've often wondered how many times there's like a mid-air collision between those parasails. I mean, I feel like that was pretty close right there. But yeah, from this side, that way, it's really nice, uh, cleaner water. Once you start getting down here, the water gets more murky and dirty. Not as nice. And uh, going back to my comments about Bangla Road. In my last video, I kind of showed you in the daytime. I haven't really shown you a nighttime experience at Bangla, but after probably 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, that place is NC-17. But, you know, tourists will be there with their kids in strollers. <laughs> Look at this, here they come. They're coming in. Gonna do a hard landing or a soft landing, we'll see. Sir, I have many glasses. Ten glasses. Thank you. Yeah, I bought a bunch of glasses. I'm good on glasses. <laughs> Good, good, thank you. There he is. Going in for a landing. Smooth landing. I did buy a pair of glasses. They were like, I want to say 300 baht. He was asking a lot more. I got the price down a little bit, but. This morning there was a little bit of blue skies, so I had hope, but since then it's totally faded away for the uh, sunshine, so this is around 3 p.m.
I almost went down to Karan Beach today. There's another landing. In Kata. I'll be going there hopefully soon. See that boat pulling it? Are you doing a sea landing or what? Good. What is he doing? So I'll pick up maybe in a little bit. You can see lots of parasails going on. Let's go see what else is going on down here. Decided to walk up in here in the town area here. Village. So here's the main road, and most of the hotels are on the other side of this road, so you always have to cross this road to get to the beach. There's the Beyond Patong. I'm actually staying at the Sheraton Four Points. Well. Some time has gone by now. We're pretty close to uh, a tong here. Our uh, Bangla Road there. Tong Beach sign. Too early, not much going on down there, but uh, they got the Carnival Magic sign. Oh, you gotta try this shawarma. Some really delicious shawarma, actually. This guy's got the best shawarma in town. Hey, there's the spirit. Go for a run. Look at this shawarma. That's what I'm talking about. My goodness. So after some pretty delicious uh, kebab, back out onto the street here. I also stopped to get a massage. Uh, foot, leg, and then uh, the lady gave like a back tie massage. I don't like the oil massage.
Because the oil massage is just real messy. I don't like that. I don't mind it on my leg a little bit. I think it's coconut oil. Maybe it's good if you get it like early in the day before you go swimming or something. Oh my gosh, whoa. Look, 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 look. He's coming. You know? On a man. I'm from Guess. Where do you think? <laughs> Take a guess. I think in American. There you go. Good guess. You're the man. Good job, my friend. I just talked to my friend. Quite a big beach here. So this is probably where you wouldn't want to swim if it's next to that canal where all that runoff and I'm assuming some sewage. It's more down there, but still. these jet skis here. Either way, it's still overcast and cloudy. I think we'll end the video here. <laughs>